Okay, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth. I'm the creator of Luminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambulight Rejection Technology Gain. Despite the day being 34 degrees, the weather is quite nice. Enough for me to come out here and inflate the screen. Now, uh, I'm going to probably change a few things with the coating. The coating looks well. Keep in mind, it looks very well. I'm going to change a few things with it. Other than that, um, it looks quite well. Uh, as the screen starts to expand, a lot of the wrinkles and stuff will actually pull out of the screen automatically. But other than that, I got it in fully inflated. I'm using the plastic spikes that came with the screen to seal it there. And then over here, I've got the compressor right there, pushing the air through here to the back of the screen. So these are not uh, rear projection screens, as you can see. I don't really like the rear projection screens because due to the fact that it kills a lot of the of the screen's picture performance. And we got another spike right there, and there's one there and one on the other side. But other than that, the size of it is quite big, but mine's gonna be much bigger than this. This is just a test screen. This is probably somewhere between maybe 140 or 150 inch. I'm looking to get a screen size that is going to be from here to there and around probably about right up to there so I'm looking to get something maybe about nine feet tall probably somewhere close to the range of probably around 240 to maybe 300 inches so this is the supreme nine inflatable screens and just getting a chance to really uh Get a good size on this screen. Now these are the ones we're going to be having on our website. Move my camera around. I got some bricks down here so that way I don't basically uh, have the wind knock over my screen. I'm walking in front of it to see how big it is. The size of it. Good massive size on my own screen as you can see. Good size screen. So I don't have the price on what these are going to cost, this particular one, um, but we are going to have them in sizes all the way up to 300 inches. This one I think is around 20, or I think it's a 16 feet across. And it looks quite nice. The formula on it, it's completely weatherproof, crack and peel resistance. So this summer, I'll be setting up for the big screen. I think right here, we're going to have this screen here, probably from here to there, and about probably about that high up, at nine feet up. And then over here, I tore out the other screen. This, this screen is gone. It's all ripped down. I'm going to put in maybe, if I can get 120, 100, 200 inch, I'm gonna try for a 200 inch, but I'm probably gonna go with a 180 inch, 235.1. So it's gonna come from the top of the deck. It's gonna come all the way across here, to here, and this time I'm gonna put a splash guard in so mud doesn't splash all over my screen. At the top right there, we're gonna put the 126 fixed frame in. And then over here, we're gonna have the inflatable put in. Plate was only quite nice. I can't wait. All right, so this is some of the screens to have. This was the uh, stand, the stand for the motorized projection screen already stripped down, and this right here is the canvas screen that's been sitting out here forever. As you see, we got a layer of ice on it already. Let me pick this up. The ice on this already. So these screens are weatherproof. So you can see this is my formula outside with a huge sheet of ice on it. Just to show you how, how strong our screen can is, look at this. No cracks, no peeling, no chipping, nothing. 
and this has been sitting out here all winter long embedded in ice and it just shows you how amazing our screen paint is we don't have to worry about our screens ever cracking or peeling people ask is our technology weatherproof the thing has been sitting under a layer of ice all winter long and as you can see no cracking or peeling to the surface whatsoever this is going to do quite nicely outside all right, so let's go inside. Show you what else we have going on. So this is a nine right here. See this screen right here? That is a nine wallpaper screen. Look at the coating color on it. It's beautiful, ain't it? That's the nine wallpaper screens. They will be available uh, on, I think it's the 18th or the 19th when they'll be available. Our price tag for these is gonna be 568. And these will include, sorry, shipping, only within the u.s look how beautiful that color is i told you it has an odd color see that's black right there the nines have something interesting there's gold and that's the gamer that's the gamer right there against the black screen see how beautiful the nines look the nines are gorgeous all right get back out here and deflate my screen so you can see it's working quite well Very happy with it. So hopefully next we'll have a 300 inch out here soon. Take this thing down. Let's see we go from there. So as you can see, like I said, this is a good size. This is going to be, I think this is going to be the minimum size screen we're going to have. And after that, see, as the screen starts to expand, you see more and more of the wrinkles start to pull out. So that's what I had to test when I actually coated the formula on it. The formula has to be to expand and it has to, the screen's going to ball up. Because keep in mind, you store these things, you want to fold them up. You're going to put them inside of a locker or some kind of bin or whatever. So they have to be able to be folded up over and over and over again and expand over and over again without the formula cracking or peeling. So price range is probably going to be anywhere at the price of $900, probably all the way up to around $3,000, uh, depending on the package. They're coming with 4K projectors, then we're talking about maybe a little more than that, but we are going to have rentals and installments. So let me the spikes that's it that keeps the screen from basically moving all over the place these little spikes right here
can see this is the size of the compressor in the back that pumps up the screen even has a kill switch in the back you also get the metal hooks including plastic and also enough rope to tie it down Okay, there we go. So I'll come over here real quick. I want to set up a demonstration for inside, but for some reason, we're not picking up in the basement. So I'm gonna to have to bring in some hubs, uh, and we're gonna to have to do some uh, wireless networking for the backyard. So I want to get some extenders. So uh, I'm gonna do some networking out here, so we can get just by any kind of media to pick up outside, because this is the problem I have right now. It's here. It's on the screen, but for some reason, we got a dead zone in here. We didn't have this problem when we had residential. We are now having this problem with um, with running. Uh, we didn't have this problem with residential. We're having this problem with, with business, which I'm kind of quite shocked because I would think business would run a little better in here than it would because it's supposed to be a much more superior signal. But it seems like we have a better off with residential because it's able to pick up in here. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take this screen upstairs where we do have a signal. And we're just going to have to run it upstairs. I want to do this demonstration upstairs because there's, for some reason we're having some real serious connection issues down here. So I'm going to have to either get another hub down here attached, another connect network down here attached or something 
but we're not getting any kind of any, any kind of picture or any any kind of signal hooking up down here. All right, so this is why I'm doing it, and um, I'm doing it in a um, a form of a pre-recording because no signals pick up down here now. All right, I'm going to be taking this upstairs very soon. I'm going to be doing a demonstration next on the wallpaper Supreme Nine. You saw the inflatable screens. We're going to be doing some demonstrations on that as soon as the weather gets a little better. I'll be back on later on, and I'll have this set up upstairs. All right, got to go.